Kula here for this video. I have for you guys my November 2013 fortune cookie soap soap box. So I'm super excited. I waited to open it because I really wanted to do like a first impression for you guys. Um, just first impression of the smells. I just very excited. So I really want to do that. Um, as you can kind of see, this is a little bit different of a format. Um, I'm actually filming myself this time. Um, I've kind of been avoiding it because I'm a bit of a shy person. Um, just, yeah, this is kind of new for me. I'm a little bit nervous about this, but um, I've kind of been noticing that some of my videos have been getting a couple dislikes, and I just really want to improve. I want to kind of do videos that you guys enjoy watching. I really love making these videos. I think it's really fun, but like I also really want to make videos that are fun to watch and interesting and informative. And I think um, one of the reasons why people have been kind of not feeling my videos is that it is kind of just me talking and you staring at a box and that's not really engaging. So I think if you can actually see my face that might help things. Um, but we'll just get right into my box because you know another thing I think people have issues with is the length of my videos. I do talk quite a bit but like I said like I just really want them to be informative. I like longer videos. But like I said, like I do really want to improve. I want to make videos that you guys enjoy watching. You know, I really appreciate you guys watching these. So, I mean, if there's something you think I could improve on, like just leave me a comment and I'll definitely take a look and see if there's something I can do. Uh, but let's get right into this. I haven't even opened it yet. It's still taped shut. Jingles, which is cool. So we'll just open this up. I'm also having kind of a lazy day, which is where this look is coming from. All right, so let's get anything sensitive out of here. All right, so as you can see, it is Nightmare Before Christmas themed, which is super exciting. I'm also not used to this camera being like backwards now, so that might take some time to getting used to. Um, oh, they put my code on the back of the card this time, so I don't really want to show you guys that, but let's cover this up. Word. Uh, that's kind of the products in there. Don't know if you guys could read that. It looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products in this soap box. Um, if you don't know what the Fortune Cookie Soap Box is, it is a quarterly subscription box by FortuneCookieSoap.com. It is twenty dollars. Um, it comes out like every three-ish months, and the shipping is included. And you also get a ten dollar off coupon, so it's kind of technically only ten dollars. And they show off all the new products or like the new scents they're going to have for that season and you kind of get it a couple weeks before it goes in the shop, which is great. Um, I don't know if you can subscribe right now. They um, sold out basically because of the, they, were, they really hyped up the Nightmare for Christmas. So they sold out of the boxes. So I don't know if like, they're going to open it up again if they have a waiting list. Uh, but let's dig in here. So I'm going to start with this cute guy here. That. I believe this is the Jack Bath Fizzy, and he has iced lemon and airy menthol warmed by woodland moss and smashed cranberries. Let's give this guy a smell. Ooh. Like, it's really, it's, oh. Very Christmassy, very wintry, very nice. Like, you get the fruit of the cranberry... But there's, yeah, there's that menthol, like the lemon, it's really fresh. That is really nice. All right. So this is the Sally Fortune Cookie Soap. And every box comes with the Fortune Cookie Soap, which is kind of their namesake. Oh my God, it's adorable. Look how cute this is. How cute is that? It has a little, like, patch on it. Ooh. Let's see. White cotton and dry crackling leaves. Oh, like I don't usually like cottony soap scents. Because I mean, I prefer like cotton and linen scents to, you know, my cotton and linen. I don't really want to smell like them. But this, yeah, that like, that leaves and like there's like a fresh breezy smell to it. Oh, it smells really nice. It's really clean smelling. Let's see, next. Oogie Boogie OCD hand sanitizer. I love to take these to work. Um, you know, I touch a lot of money, I touch a lot of just things, so it's nice to have hand sanitizer. 
and this is a mix of smushed winter berries against a backdrop of sweet muted cinnamon. Oh, and there's a bug in it. Look, I don't know if you can see it. There's a bug in it. You know, because Oogie Boogie is bugs. He's made of bugs. Spoiler alert, um, Oogie Boogie is bugs. So, there. Hmm. You don't really get a very strong smell from it out of the bottle. Let me see if I can get a better smell on. Because usually I find with the OCD hand sanitizers, you get... There's definitely berries. There's the cinnamon. It's interesting. It's not my favorite, but it's interesting. I like the color and the dead bug bell. That's the bug makes it for me. Uh, let's see. Next is the Lock Shock and Barrel Bath Melt, which I'm assuming is this guy here because it's a mask and Lock Shock and Barrel wear masks that look exactly like their faces. Oh, it's even over my face. Awesome. And this is. Frosted woods of pine and spruce, warmed with hints of spice. Ooh. It almost smells like mulled cider. But like has that woodsy scent. Mmm, that's really, that, that's soothing. That's, that'd be really nice, like a cold winter day to kind of just relax with that. Um, let's see. This is the Sandy Claus Exfoliating Body Butter. Come in this little bag here. Fortune Cookie Soap. Little more. Fortune Cookie Soap ships a lot of their stuff in these baggies like this. Let's see. Ooh, there's a hair on it. It's kind of gross. Okay. So it's just kind of like this solid. And these things melt really fast, so I don't want to touch it for too long. Let's see. Oh, oh, this smells like chocolate and chai. Oh, it is like candy. I love chai. I love chai tea. Mixed with it, and the chocolate, it, it's, it smells exactly, like, I'm not 100% convinced there's not, like, actually chocolate in this, because, is there chocolate in this? It has cocoa butter, so, I mean, that's basically chocolate. I'm gonna stop smelling that, but that smells amazing. Amazing. Um, see the zero dry shampoo. Okay, so that's this guy here. Zero dry shampoo. I have one aerosol dry shampoo, which is a pst, the curly hair one, and then I have that alterna one. So now I have another of the non aerosol kind. Um, I used to prefer the non aerosol just because I don't like the idea, you know, of the aerosol, like the propane, the butane. But I find that it's easier to control the aerosols than it is to control the powders. So, not too sure how I feel about a powder, but I'll definitely try this. This is Ghostly Bellows of Sweet Peppermint with just the faintest whisper of pumpkin. This is like smellable without getting it everywhere. Okay. It has a neat little sprinkle top too that you can twist open and close. So that's good. Ooh. That smells interesting. Like, you get the peppermint. I almost feel like you get more of the pumpkin, though. Even though it says, like, there's just a hint of the pumpkin. I feel like I get more pumpkin than peppermint, but there is that, like, minkiness to it. Um, let's see, we have the Holiday World's Whipped Cream Body Butter. That there. I love Fortune Cookie Soap's body butters. Love them. They are some of the best body butters I've ever used. They're not greasy. They, I mean, they all smell great, you know, like I've had a bunch of different scents now. I love all the smells. They absorb really fast. They're not greasy and they leave me feeling super smooth. So I really love these. I highly recommend these. If you buy anything from Fortune Cookie Soap, buy a body butter. And this is four festive fragrances to capture the magic of each season. So it doesn't say which fragrances they are, but it says it's for Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Easter are the four seasons. Ooh, this one's like full too. I'm not used to my backwards camera. So the first hit's kind of a caramely note. I 
I love these body butters. They're just, they're so nice. They're so creamy, not greasy. They absorb super fast. They leave me feeling smooth. That is interesting. I'd really like to know like exactly what notes are in here. There's like, like I said, like that caramely note. There's something kind of fresh underneath it. That's really hard to describe, but I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's interesting. Not my favorite. Uh, cupcake is probably my favorite. But it's not bad. That's actually a pretty good, it's an interesting smell. And finally, this is the What's This Roll-On Perfume. Our second annual mystery fragrance contest. No hints. Ooh. So you have to guess what it is. <gasps> That's exciting. I don't know if I want to show you guys with what I think this is now. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I think I totally know what this is. Let me put this on. Mm. I like rollerballs. I just hate getting them going. Come on. There it goes. Oh, I am pretty sure I know what this is. It smells really good though. Like really good. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't just sniff and have dead air. And then the reason why it was jingling is because there's a little jingle bell in here. They include these cute little things. Last time it was a cinnamon stick and the time before that it was a little paper parasol. And then here's kind of the cute confetti in there. There's a little snowflake confetti. Oh, gosh, my camera. Snowflake confetti. So that was awesome. Uh, like I said, like I really love Fortune Cookie Soap soap boxes. Um, it's just a really great way to try out their new scents, to try out different products. Um, I have never tried one of their dry shampoos before. I've never tried a roll-on perfume from them before. I love their OCD hand sanitizers. Just, I, I can't say enough good things about their body butters. Um... I do have one of their Hydrate Me's, but I'm pretty sure it might be a little different from this solid body butter, but this smells so good. Um, bath melt. I think I've gotten... No, I don't think I've gotten a bath melt from them before either. And the Ubiquitous Fortune Cookie Soap. And then finally, a bath fizzy. So that is this month's Nightmare Before Christmas... Not this month. This season's Nightmare Before Christmas Fortune Cookie Soap box. Super excited. Love everything in it. Uh, if you can sign up for it, I highly recommend it. It's only $20, and it's $20 every three months, so it's definitely doable. And you get all this really neat stuff. You get $10 off the store. And I don't know why you wouldn't do it. So that is my Fortune Cookie Soapbox for this season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's not too weird, and I don't look too awkward, and I'm not being too awkward or anything. And I really hope that this video works out and I can post it, because I'd be really sad if I couldn't do an actual first impressions. But thank you guys so much for watching.